Hey everyone, it's time for another status update on the current state of 2Tab.io, which is the website I've built where you can search for programming learning resources and find the best tutorials and courses on coding topics. And I've just added a brand new feature to 2Tab.io because now you can add coupon codes to a paid resources. So let's see an example of this. When I search for Python automation, for example, there is a resource I've posted myself where I've added a coupon code. This one here, automated boring stuff. I know that this coupon code exists. And now there is this field here on each paid resource where users can add these coupon codes so others can find them and use them themselves if they decide to buy the course. I think it's a really cool idea because as far as I know, there is no real place on the internet where you can find coupon codes for different programming courses in one centered place. What I've also done is I added an expiration date to these coupon codes because it's annoying when you find a coupon code somewhere and then you try it out and it doesn't work anymore. So we can add one or multiple coupon codes to paid resources. And we have this date selector here where we can select when this coupon code expires. And when it expires, this will be shown as expired. It will be red. And I also consider just not showing expired coupon codes in the future at all. I still have to decide this. I think that's a really cool idea because again, there is no real other place where you would go if you want to find a coupon code for a course that you consider buying. All right, that's this feature. I've also made some design improvements to the website. As you can see here, I added these emojis for these tags, which I think look really cool. Different emojis for different kinds of tags. Just makes the website a bit more friendly overall. We have emojis here on the left side as well. I've also added more ways to add information to user profiles. So let me open this in incognito mode actually, otherwise you can see my personal email address. We have this about me section here where you can tell others a little bit about yourself and you can also now set the display name separately from your username with which you log in. And when we hover over a name, as you can see, we see the profile information together with the about me part. Really cool. Just these little features that make the website a bit better and a bit more interesting for users. Next, I've added a monthly raffle to uh, Tutab.io because I want to give people more motivation to actually post new resources. So uh, when we hover over this comma text here, this is why we have this little uh, uh, present icon. You can see a text that says uh, blah blah blah, post at least one resource this month to have a chance to win a Udemy course up to $20. This is what we are doing right now. You just have to post one single resource to the website because I want to avoid that people spam the website just to have a higher chance of winning. Everyone who posted one resource or 10 resources or 100 doesn't matter has the same chance of winning this coupon code and you automatically participate if you submit a resource that gets accepted. Right now you can win a Udemy course up to 20 bucks because the website doesn't make any money yet but in the future I will raise this price and maybe then we have multiple prizes and more expensive courses. So I think this is a really nice motivation for people to actually contribute to the website and it's not a lot of work. I mean posting a resource takes like two to five minutes. So yeah, if you haven't posted yet, the month is almost over. If you still want to participate for September, just go to the top, post a resource. Again, one single resource is enough. You don't have to post multiple ones. Okay, next I've created social media accounts for Tutab, for example, on TikTok, also Twitter, Instagram, and so on. I will put all these links in the description below, and I would be really happy if you follow me there. As you can see, I create some um, educational content there, really short videos and also some memes. So yeah, follow me there. All the links are below. Of course, I'm also still writing blog posts, but the thing with blog posts is that this is a very slow process. Like getting a good ranking on Google really takes time. Social media like TikTok, for example, is much faster. There you create a video and you get attention immediately. So I do both for marketing. I write these blog posts as this long-term slow process, which I think is really important though. And I create social media content, smaller clips, smaller nuggets of information here and there for the faster, more short-term user gain. And this works really well. And a good way to approach this is to create long form content like these blog posts I'm writing here and then repurposing information from these posts to create these smaller pieces of content for social media. 
For example, I have this one blog post about the best way to learn programming fast and the blog post itself is pretty big and not everyone wants to read this. But I also created multiple smaller pieces of information and little videos for social media where I basically repurpose this information just in smaller pieces. And this is a really good way to approach this social media marketing because then you don't have to worry all the time what kind of content you create. The content is already there. I also just finished writing this humongous post about how to stay fit and in shape as a programmer and this is actually me in the picture here so this is my current form i just snapped this photo a few days ago and in here i put everything i know about how to stay fit lean build muscle and so on it's over 6,000 words long but i divided it into sections where you can jump to if you want to read it again you can find the blog post on tutup.io on the blog which is here in this menu as you can see, I also improved the design of the blog. I added these blog quotes, for example, that you can retweet. Really cool. I added pictures and you can also now open these pictures in full size in a separate tab. Those are just the little things I've implemented recently. And lastly, I created a Patreon page for Tutup. If you want to support the website, um, it's pretty new, so we don't have any patrons yet, but it would be helpful because I need to pay for the server fees and everything. Um, there are different levels available which all give the exact same benefits. At the moment you get a special role on our coding and flow discord server and I also want to do a b-weekly or maybe weekly uh, live Q&As for patrons where we just talk about whatever you want to know from me. Maybe a little bit about Tutup itself, maybe about the tech stack, maybe other stuff you want to ask me. So uh, you can contribute for, I think the lowest is four euros or around five dollars if you want to help. And again, you can find the Patreon link either in the video description below or on Tutup here in this menu. When you click on more, there's this Patreon link. Okay, that's the current state of the website. It's growing, it's gaining more and more users. Really cool. Thank you to everyone who has posted resources so far. And I will keep you updated about Tutup in the future. Take care.